What's up you guys? Today I'm going to talk about how I would actually make a living playing, not doing anything else but actually just playing physically the guitar for a living. What would I do personally? Here we go. So one of the things that I would do is I would probably try to join a tribute band. Tribute bands make a great amount of money. They play casinos and fairs and all kinds of bars. They get booked easily because it's kind of the riding on the coattails of an established band. I've actually been asked to join many tribute bands in the past. I've turned them down so far. I may eventually do it, uh, but I've been lucky enough to not really need to make money with live music. Although, like I said, this is the point of the video. If I had to, I would join a tribute band in a heartbeat. And I would likely do something that I really liked. It would be like a Zeppelin thing or something like that. Uh, the trick is, is you have to like look the part as a whole thing. But I would definitely join at least maybe one or two tribute bands get that good work going, they make a great amount of money, that's probably the first thing I would start looking into. The second thing that I would do if I had to make a living just playing guitar as a guitar player is join maybe an established cover band. Uh, cover bands do really great, especially the bigger ones, the established ones who are doing a great job delivering good music, a party vibe, or whatever, there's, there's all kinds. There's some locally, I'm in uh, Orange County, California, that are uh, doing a really great job. Some who are just like just workhorses who've been at it for a long time, uh, just establish relationships and a kind of reputation for bringing the party, bringing people. Um, and some of them kind of have a theme, like they all dress as like sailors. It's, it's crazy what you can do. Uh, a great example is actually I think Steel Panther. They uh, were starting as music school. They were just more like an '80s cover band, and, uh, and they just kind of got popular, started doing original music. And that actually leads me to my next thing, is I might even think about auditioning for some original bands who are already doing a pretty good job and maybe just need an additional guitar player, or maybe their guitar player is kind of on the outs. I'd start putting out, I'd probably record a bunch of stuff of just me just you know, kind of crushing a riff or solos or something, whatever highlights my skills the best. And I'd be just putting it out there and advertising myself as a guitar player for hire or willing to join a band. Uh, so for established original bands, that'd be a harder way to go, but I'd at least try it and see what happens, see if anyone uh, you know, could give me an audition. Uh, the other thing that I would do is I would probably join a country band. Now, I'm not a huge country fan. Uh, I do like it. I'm originally from Kansas, so it was one of those things as a kid you were just kind of like pummeled with country. I actually do like it a lot more than when I was a kid, for sure. Um, I'm not a huge fan where I'm like only listening to country, uh, like my brother is. He's a he's a country guy, but I do enjoy it, and I do enjoy playing it once in a while. The reason why I would join a country band, it would definitely be a little bit of a sellout move for me, uh, is because they make great money, especially where I'm at here in Orange County. Those country bands are making great money. Just starting, uh, they make twice what my current band does, and we do covers in kind of a different style. So country bands are making a killing. It's got its own little niche market, its own built-in crowd. That's what I would definitely do. I would join a country band. Uh, and then lastly, uh, I would say session work. I'd probably look for session work. Through my YouTube channel, I've actually uh, been able to reach out um, and I've had people come reach out to me uh, who want session work from me, which is amazing. That's, that's a super big compliment. And I've recorded leads for different causes, different reasons, different people. I've recorded all kinds of stuff. And it's been, it's not like a huge income thing for me, uh, but it is something that I might pursue a little harder if, uh, if I wanted to be a player for a living. And you know what? I'll even give you a bonus one. Now I think about it, um, I might even, excuse me, I might even join a band as a bass player. Um, I'm not a great bass player, but I can pretty much get by playing bass. I probably need to you know, brush up on my chops, but I might even just throw the bass on and try that for a while as well. That would probably be even easier, although this is a technicality, so I know this video is as the guitar player, I might actually try bass, because bass players are like, I don't know man, uh, guitar players are a dime a dozen, let's just be honest. But bass players, especially a good one who's reliable, who has great gear, that guy is valuable, and he's probably going to be in like three bands, four or five bands anyway, uh, because there aren't as many of those bass players for whatever reason. They're the unsung hero. They're tucked way in the back. That's my little bonus tip. Um, but anyways, now you guys know what I would do if I had to make a living as a guitar player. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Give it a like. Helps me a lot. And thanks for watching.